good. But instead, may we be a people who wait faithfully on you, Lord. May we be the type of believers who ask what you want me to learn in this storm. And during tough situations, help us to remember that although the afflictions of the righteous are many, you are a God who delivers us out of them all. So instead of speaking about the negative, instead of focusing on the negative, give us a mind that meditates on the good things that are promised in the Bible. Give us a mind that holds on to your promises. Promises such as Psalm 34 verse 17, which says, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. We praise you, Lord Jesus, because in this fight, you are in our corner. You are fighting the battle for us. I declare your promise in Exodus 14 verse 14, which says the Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. Lord Jesus, you are all powerful, and we can safely declare that he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Our hearts do safely trust in you. And as we call out the name of Jesus Christ to intervene, we stand on your word in Nahum chapter 1 verse 7, which says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in him. You are indeed a stronghold in the day of trouble. And my prayer today, in agreement with everyone listening, is that your holy power would change and transform our carnal mindset. Would you shift our perspective, Lord? Activate and unlock a higher level of faith in us. Lord Jesus, we give you all of the glory. Let this storm become a testimony and a demonstration of your saving grace. Lord, we declare that as sons and daughters of the Most High God, we are overcomers. In you, Lord Jesus, we are more than conquerors. Our physical eyes might not see it yet, but I pray that you would activate our spiritual eyes, our eyes of faith, so that we can see your hand leading us protecting us and shielding us from evil. Father, I know that there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is enough power to remove every barrier and obstacle before us. And for that we praise you. Lord, I ask that you continue to work in our lives. Continue to order our steps into a greater level of maturity as believers. May the Holy Spirit continue to work within us, to teach us that before we go anywhere else searching for solutions, before we look elsewhere for answers, in Jesus we have all that we need. In Jesus we have all the answers that we could ever need. In Jesus we have the power to move mountains. We have a God who performs miracles. A God who can make a way where there seems to be no way. The God of the impossible is our Lord. I bless your precious name. I thank you for listening to this prayer. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. Lord Jesus, I praise you and I worship you. Father, help us to grow. Help us to grow as believers. And even as we live in this sin-filled world, we recognize
recognize that we need wisdom and knowledge in order to navigate our way through this world. Let our goal be to become mature and fruitful believers. Lord, I pray and ask that the Holy Spirit would be our helper and teach us so that we may grow spiritually. We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you to help us to grow and to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. We need you, Holy Spirit, to help us to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to reach a level of spiritual maturity that pleases you. A level 